Gary, Laura from Pizza RV Center. I know you were speaking with Viet earlier and I just wanted to come out here, introduce myself and take a quick video of the Rockwood. It's a 2007 ultralight. Uh, outside looks very clean. There are a couple issues that I will go into a little bit more detail with you when we're inside. Um, but again, outside is very clean. You're gonna have a crank hitch. Uh, your propane tanks go right up there. You have a storage container right here. A nice level up right there, which makes it easy to level up the camper. Your awning is here, and then a nice grab handle as you come inside with three entry steps. Inside, um, it smells, I mean, it, there's definitely no smoking that we're in here. Um, it definitely smells like people have used it, but um, no, nothing bad, no smoking at all. Um, it's in very good condition in here, very clean, um, very nice, but I do want to just be completely upfront since you are driving a long way. We did notice a couple issues when we're in here. Um, the first um, issue to note is there's a soft spot on the floor right in the bedroom, right where I'm standing, uh, right near the vent. It's definitely a soft spot. Um, other features to note in the bedroom, you're going to have a nice heated mattress. You can see uh, right over there, there's the control. So the mattress uh, looks like they upgraded that, which is nice. That'll come with the trailer uh, should you choose to buy it. Uh, you're going to have upgraded shades in the bedroom as well. Those are going to be both night and day shades. Get up here and all you have to do is whoop, lift this up like that. And those are going to be your day shades. That's your night shade. You also are going to have two separate lights, reading lights, right above um, the bed. Looks like these are adjustable as well. So his and her reading lights. Um, and then you have a bunch of storage as well. Uh, removable shelves so you can hang things. Um, and you can store things right as you go down the road, um, as opposed to just the shelf where things can fall off. Um, so nice tons of storage, and then you'll also have storage underneath the bed, um, and then there's also his and her drawers on either side of the bed as well. Another thing to note, um, privacy-wise, there's an actual door separating the bedroom, uh, which is nice compared to the privacy curtains, which really don't uh, give you as much privacy as you'd like. So let's head on in to the living area. Um, the heat in here is ducted. You'll see all throughout the floor there are heat vents. Um, and that brings me to the next issue that we noticed. Um, nothing too major. There is a cold crack. Um, and you'll see that right along this uh, seam right here. Looks like they had taped it up. Um, that's not water damage. Basically what that means is when the trailer got really cold in the winter time, um, the floor expanded and contracted uh, and then the vinyl ripped. Um, so very, very, it's only cosmetic, nothing um, structural or anything like that to the trailer. Uh, you're going to have a freestanding dinette in here um, as well as a nice comfortable couch. I believe this will pull out um, oh, yep, so it's a tri-fold sofa. It'll actually pull out and you'll have some extra sleeping in there. Uh, right as you enter in the door, you'll notice a TV. Um, there's cable hookups, some outlets, and then there's a nice little storage area. Um, that looks like there's a CD DVD player as well. Um, and again, there are speakers throughout the whole ceiling, uh, which is kind of nice. You'll have surround sound in here. Um, and then on that note, there's also ducted AC. You'll see the vents throughout the ceiling as well. Um, so in every room, even when the doors are closed, you will get that airflow, which is nice. Uh, kitchen area, nice big double sink. Makes uh, washing and rinses, rinsing dishes easy. And then tons of storage up here. Um, microwave, stove, oven. Some travel trailers don't come with the oven, so that's a nice extra feature as well. Uh, you have Lots of pantry space in here as well. Um, looks like they added some extra shelves to make storage a little bit easier. Um, so you do have a lot of food space. And then your fridge in here as well. Looks like a six cubic foot fridge. Uh, let's see, what else can I know? Okay, so another thing to note, this again is just cosmetic. Uh, it looks like um, the ceiling on the slide out is just bowing out a little bit. Really all that needs to do is a couple staples here and there and that'll tuck right in. Just cosmetic again, uh, nothing really worrisome to note. Again, you'll see the uh, cloth blinds are upgraded throughout here as well. Here are the day shades and then you pull right down to the night shades. So that's throughout, which is very nice. Door to the bathroom. This again is a rear bathroom floor plan. So you're going to have a huge bathroom in here. Lots of storage space. Uh, you're going to get the foot flush toilet. His and her sinks, which is very rare to see in a trailer. Um, so definitely you're going to get a lot of extra counter space. Two sinks again. His and her uh, vanities. And then again, all of this extra storage space back here. Hanging. If you want to put towels and linens. Things like that. Definitely a lot of space. 
um, and again, you also are going to have a nice big shower in here, glass shower, a little bit of a tub, a little bit of a step in, um, but definitely a lot of room. And that brings me to the last issue that I definitely want to be upfront with you about. Um, right up here, we notice, if you see, um, the ceiling actually is coming unglued. Um, so that'll definitely need to be re-glued. Another thing is there is a leak, we think. We climbed up on the roof just to check everything out, and there will be a leak that needs to be addressed. Um, whether my sales manager wants to fix that for you, if we or if we're just going to be selling it as is, um, that is to be determined. Um, he's off today, so I won't be able to get that answer to you today. Um, but it's definitely something we're going to look more into it. We just kind of noticed it today after you expressed some interest in the trailer. Um, but again, there is a leak up there, which, um, will need to be addressed at some point, either by you or by us. Um, so that kind of wraps up it in the, uh, Rockwood. Hopefully that, uh, this kind of tour quick video gave you a good idea of what it is. It is, uh, very clean in here. Again, uh, with a used trailer, there are some issues, um, pretty much with any used trailer that you will have to address. Um, but any questions, feel free to contact me or Viet. Thanks so much.